you're seeing this, then it's a sign to dress up in a semi-cute outfit with a cute blanket, nice crisp bottle of water with your cute puppies. And then just go outside and crochet or knit if you have that skill, but I don't. <laughs> Oh, that's a terrible angle. So I made this headband the other day and I'm like obsessed with it. I think it's so cute. I'm making this sweater right now, or maybe it'll be a shirt, I don't know. I still don't really know how to do sleeves. So that's what I'm working on right now. Cause last time I did sleeves, I just went all the way around and then it was like bunching up weird right here. It's like, it's nice outside. It's actually pretty hot. I might not be out for too, too long because I got extremely sunburnt the other day and it will be really painful if I stay out here too long, but my back is fully covered and that's where I got mostly sunburned, so that's okay. That'll probably be fine. My poor dogs though, we went on a hike with them and their paws got burnt too, and I feel so bad. I didn't know it was gonna be that hot, like on the ground, but oh, I feel so bad. They weren't able to walk very well. We got them stuff to put on their paws. <laughs> oh my gosh. My allergies are so bad. Only in Arizona, though. Like, when I lived in Utah, I didn't have any. When I lived in Washington, before I moved here, I didn't have allergies. <laughs> when I lived in Indiana, I didn't have allergies. But when I moved here, allergies. And it's, like, really bad. Like, ugh. But that's not what I was going to say. I was going to say that since I moved back here, I haven't had to focus on chemistry or school in general. I work, but not like full time, which I do need to probably start working more. However, I'm going to be gone literally all of June, so I can't like get another job because I'm going to have to request a month off and it's almost June, so that would not really work out. But in July, I'm probably going to get another job. And holy crap, dude, like I have so much more free time. Like I've been hanging out with friends and I have time to like sew and like crochet. Like so far since I've been back, I've been back I think like two weeks, but I haven't made like a ton. I've done a lot of progress on this sweater and then I made this headband and I made two tote bags, um, like crochet tote bags. And then I sewed a dress and a shirt I think that's all I sewed. Like, I had so much free time. Also, I donated plasma for the first time the other day to, like, make extra money. There's, like, a small bruise right there, but it was not that bad. Like, it, like, personally, I didn't hurt too bad. Like, at first, I was like, ooh, this stings with a toe. And she was like, if there's any pain at all, you should let me know, because I shouldn't be. And I was like, well, I didn't say anything, because I don't say things, but I was like, it does sting a little bit. But then it went away and it was fine. It was completely fine and I made like a hundred bucks. First of all, I reread the whole Throne of Glass series. Probably, I think for the third time, which is kind of embarrassing to be honest. But I reread that. Oh, and then I listened to the Inheritance Games, which, only the first book. And I really liked it. It was really good. And then I listened to um, a romance, like rom-com cute book. Um by Sarah Dessen because I've been like obsessed with her books lately but I've listened to like all of them now so I don't really know what else to listen to. I have Love Hypothesis like available to listen to which I'm going to do that soon but I'm rereading Crescent City right now and I don't want to take a break in the middle of it. Um, I personally don't remember reading this book to be honest like I can't remember anything about it. Yeah, I'm gonna listen to The Love Hypothesis which I've heard is really good but it's also like a teacher or student romance right and I don't think I like that idea very much. Um, that, that would be a little bit weird to me to read about, but I'm gonna read it anyway because everyone loves it, so like hopefully it's not like creepy. So I'm just gonna calm down now and stop talking about books and just crochet for a little bit. I made these shorts, you can't even like really see them, but I got pants from the thrift store and cut them off and then the stars, I sew it on, but yeah. I love cilantro. <sighs> Beautiful. I'm glad it doesn't taste like soap to me. Okay. 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 Stop. Stop. Ow. Jules. Hey, baby. Gosh. 
full of fabric and yarn. So let's go through it. Make a cute dress. My allergies are killing me, bro. Super pretty, like sheer purple that I could layer over this purple to make a cute skirt. Isn't that adorable? Okay, these are like three random little heart patches I found at the thrift store. This was supposed to be a sweater. But as you can see, it is not. Maybe I should just finish this real quick. There's a lot of yarn. Look at this beautiful vintage <laughs> dusty freaking floral sheet. It's, it would make the cutest dress, don't you think? The yardage. Another super cute floral sheet that I found. Look, this is when I was first learning how to crochet. I made this random patchy thing. I don't know, it gives me Elsa vibes. This is another super cute sheet that I found at the thrift store. To make the most adorable, just like, shirt, don't you think? Okay. I got this really crazy random burst of motivation because I watched a YouTube video. Oh, sorry, my allergies are insane right now. But look how cute this fabric is. Look at a cute dress. So I'm gonna use this dress to pattern that dress. Let's look up how to gather fabric because <laughs> I don't know how to do that, but I'll figure it out and I'll let you know. I made the tension and the length as high as I can go on a straight stitch or whatever. And then you just go through. That's kind of what I got. And then you like pull like the bobbin thread. And anyway, let's do it. I'll figure it out as I go if I don't do it right to begin with. I have to figure this out together. Okay, wait. I think I'm figuring it out slowly and surely. I just, I know I don't want to break the thread because the person I watched the video said that if I did that, I'd be very angry. And that would probably be true. You got one of yourself back here? Yeah. How's it going? Good. Okay. You hugs. Because I love you. I'm recording. Oh, hi! <laughs> That's why you're talking to yourself. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Love you. Love you. Okay, this is what I have so far. Now I'm gonna do the second tier. It's probably going to end like right here, but okay, basically <coughs> stopped recording because I was lazy, but I finished it. Yes.